There isn't a manual to build 500P. There never was. It is hand-built. We created it in a way that no one else has ever seen, and that's remarkable. This is like a marathon. It's not a sprint. It was almost like building a cathedral. When you think about the scale of this effort, for IT in particular, this is a monumental effort. This is not a three-month project and, and out. This is a multi-year effort. One of the reasons why a place like Stanford has to have a very strong IT team is because we have to make sure that we continue a cycle of innovation. Concept planning was 12 years ago, planning was 10 years ago, and the start of the project is eight years ago. There's probably very little, if any, technology that you would define eight years ago and then it'll be the exact same. And so the IT team has had to be very adaptable. Technology and healthcare delivery, it's been revolutionizing how we treat patients for decades, right? And so as technology becomes more advanced, we have to continue to bring that technology to our patients. Patients come from all over the world to Stanford, and this will really be the jewel of the Stanford healthcare system. One of the things we want to do is always make sure that first and foremost, our patients at the front of all that we do, we want to make sure that we have an integrated process as seamless to the patient as possible so that all the behind the scenes work that's getting done allows us to put our best foot forward with our patients. Technology is so important because it helps us fulfill that mission in serving our patients. Stanford Healthcare is in such a unique position to be different than anyone else in the country. We have the obligation to continue to innovate. And the ability to take our ideas and how we help our patients and then bring in Stanford faculty and the Silicon Valley partners, no one else in the country can do that. Technology is the backbone of the success of the new hospital. We are putting more than 180 applications, more than 40,000 devices that all have different purposes. So from a technology standpoint, you couldn't actually provide patient care, provide a great patient experience for their families without technology seamlessly working. There's not too many activities now in a healthcare organization that happen without some kind of technology that supports it. And that technology needs to be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And so we do need to have the best possible team we can have here at Stanford Healthcare. Most of the people who work in the technology staff at Stanford Healthcare work here for our mission. It's very gratifying to know that you can be part of something like that, that I can be part of something like that. The thing I'm most proud about is really the team. Our team has put in so many hours. The work they've had to do to plan and replan, to find technologies that are still relevant 10 years after a hospital was initially being thought about, uh, has just been tremendous. We take the building and convert it into a hospital. The key takeaway for all my teams working on this project is you have committed and invested your time in doing something that's going to be so impactful for our patients and their families. And there is nothing more rewarding for information technology team members to take some of that innovation and apply it in action and see it working. There's a level of orchestration to this that is amazing. It's something that our team will remember forever. From an IT perspective, this is a masterwork. We've created the single most advanced healthcare environment in the world, and we're very excited to deliver it to our patients.